The coronavirus has also forced pen paramedics to change the way they respond to calls and transport people for care. Our Casey Lund is with Honolulu EMS to show us how they've adapted. Of course, Honolulu EMS cleans their ambulances every single day, but since COVID-19, they've had to step things up. They bring in private contractors now to deep clean and sterilize every surface inside this ambulance. One of their most powerful tools is the steam cleaner, blasting water vapor over 200 degrees on every square inch. It's definitely a new normal that we're seeing out there. Every piece of equipment the paramedics use gets special attention because every call they go on comes with special risk. They're donning their PPEs, they're going in not knowing if that person does have COVID-19. So it's a bit stressful right now, but the crews, they're doing an incredible job going in, taking care of these patients and getting them to the hospital. They're the tip of the medical spear. EMTs are often the true first responders to this pandemic, and that can take a mental and emotional toll. Regardless if there's a pandemic or not, um, we just want to be here for everybody. Um, it's really, right now with all this stuff going on, we are very anxious, we're worked up, um, we're scared. We could be going to somebody who's walking through the store, falls and trips, and we don't know if they have COVID-19 or not. EMS workers say they're grateful for the outpouring of love, aloha, and support they've received from the public. They've been given coffee, treats, and other gifts, but ask for only one gesture. Please stay at home. Please don't be out if you don't need to. Um, please only call 911 for medical emergencies. Um, you, there's other resources that you can call if you think that you have COVID, but please stay at home for us and for my friends and my family. It's a difficult time, it's stressful. They do have family, they have loved ones that they have to go home to. So that's why the stay at home is so important. We have to make sure we keep our first responders safe and healthy. Casey Lund, Hawaii News Now.